pour my tea um, with the strainer so it takes any little bits and stuff like that out and baby what you see before you is love in a cup hey y'all it's your girl q and today i had wanted to share with y'all my uh golden fixer elixir lozenge drops all right now y'all saw um earlier that i had put in the uh a snippet of my golden fixer elixir which the link to that video will be right up here at the top of the screen right now y'all see me um taking a piece of aloe and getting it ready to cut into pieces and these drops are gonna are great for whatever like like i said go watch the golden fixer elixir video and you'll see what i'm talking about but with this i am taking the aloe i'm putting it into um, some water so it can clear some of that bitterness that comes with aloe and then we're gonna go ahead clean up our workspace you already know. Now we're gonna take some of this beautiful organic ginger. Y'all, when I tell you this ginger was so potent and it smelled so beautiful, all right, let's get it. Then we're gonna clean up our workspace again, you know what I'm saying? Do it as we go along. Pull out my lemon, my lime, cause that's gonna go into it. I actually made two different flavors of these drops, but I, I'm only posting the video for the Golden Fixer Elixir. Um, just cause that's all I really wanted to post. I wanted to show you guys how I turned my Golden Fixer Elixir into a beautiful lozenge drop that you can just kind of, you can just suck on. You know what I'm saying? You'll never have to buy cough drops again. You feel me? They are amazing. And you can add, um, I, cause with the other recipe I added mint. So it gave it that beautiful pepperminty kind of, you know what I'm saying? It was so good. But, um, this one right now, I'm squeezing out lemon juice and I'm going to squeeze out some lime juice. I went on ahead and cut up that ginger because with that ginger, I'm going to express all that ginger juice out of it. Like straight, direct ginger juice. It's going to go right into this lodging. I'm telling you, y'all, these are packed full of flavors and they have so many multiple multiple purposes. <laughs> they have multiple purposes, which was really good. Really, really good, especially for my singers. And that's what that aloe and stuff for. You know, have you ever had like throat coat tea and stuff like that? That's what, you know, that aloe, it just soothes your, it soothes your skin. It's also good for your body too. So right now we're just taking that aloe that I uh, let sit and steep in that water. You know what I'm saying? We drained off the bitter part of it. And now we're going ahead and we're blending it down with that emulsion blender. And you can see how it froths up. You know what I'm saying? This is going to turn into a beautiful liquid. And it's not going to be as slimy because we've already extracted most of the slime part with that water. You know what I'm saying? And I believe...
in the aloe. I added in a lot of that aloe uh, juice. Also gonna add in some water. Look at me with my beaker like I'm a scientist and shit. <laughs> you feel me? No, but anyway. Um, <laughs> but what y'all really, but what y'all really um, are gonna see. Oh, and I also threw in some of that lemon juice. Yes, because you know it's vitamin C. These, like I said, these drops, these lozenges are very much so multi-dimensional. You know what I'm saying? And there's gonna be a lot of um, strong flavors like this apple cider vinegar with the mother in it that I'm putting inside of these drops, you know, and also inside of the golden fixer elixir. The sugar and the light corn syrup is just basically agents to help, you know, balance those flavors, but also create the actual candy itself. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, now I added in that uh, turmeric and ginger mixture, and now I'm gonna also add in some uh, agave nectar which I really like. I like blue agave nectar, it's delicious. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we went on ahead and threw in some of that. We're gonna give it a beautiful stir. Give it a good stir, look at it. It's already starting to, you know, bloom into the color. And I didn't add all of the ginger yet. Now look at it, let's go. Now it's bubbling, look at that, we got action. <laughs> right now I'm just going around the rim of the pot and making sure that everything around the rim goes into the candy so that we don't have weird crystallization. You don't want that, it'll give a, a very weird texture to your candy, not very good. So we go around and we make sure that we clean the edges of the pot as we go along. Now I'm gonna add in some more of that ginger. I told y'all I was adding in more ginger. Um, we're gonna add in dry ginger, ground ginger, you know what I'm saying, into it. Yes, yes. Now, look, it's starting to get thick. We're gonna test it to see where uh, the consistency is at. You guys, I did not use a candy thermometer for this. I haven't used a candy thermometer to make candy and I don't know how long. Um, I just know what I know, you feel me? Now, that part, it tastes amazing, but the consistency isn't where I want it yet. I want it at that hard stage where it's gonna crunch, it's gonna be a lozenge. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test it again. And as you can see, I'm, I'm bringing down all of that on the side of the pan. You know, you can see how it's dripping on my spatula. And you can see how the bubbles begin to get even more frothier and thicker. That's how you know that you're leveling up in the stages of the candy. You see what I'm saying? It's going from like a caramely taffy kind of consistency to a crunchy lollipop consistency. And that's what you want. Because you want to be able to, you know, soothe your throat, suck on these. I also put them in tea. Oh yeah. Now look, that one is close, but still no cigar. It's not ready yet. Now, let's see. Bingo, we got action. We got candy. This is how we want it. Um, now it's ready to go ahead and create our lives and drops. And be extremely careful with this mixture, you guys. It is hot. Hot sugar, It will. it's hot, okay? Don't play around, for real. I want y'all to be very safe. I care about y'all, okay? Now look at this. Okay, so I use a, I believe this is a half teaspoon uh, measuring spoon to drop these. Work very well, you know what I'm saying? The candy is extremely hot, as I said before, and so it's just kinda running into each other and stuff, and you know what I'm saying, making different kind of shapes. But I found that as the candy kinda cooled, it became a lot easier to pour. But the reason why I said you wanna be quick with it is because it will, you know, kind of solidify on you. If that happens, just heat it back up at a low temp, you'll be fine. I love making and creating my own things. This is so cool, like, it's kind of like one of those things where, all right, you just take a bunch of ingredients and now you've made a thing. You feel me when I'm saying? That's so cool. There's so much magic that goes into that, you feel me? And um, I also find that once it gets to like a medium kind of cool stage like this, it's a lot easier to um, formulate more circular drops. You feel me? It's bomb. You see? And you can see, look at how pretty and golden that is. Dang, you know, these taste so bomb and my kids enjoyed them. We were so happy with this. This was, this is one of those, um, this is one of those things where it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? And look at it, it looks like gold coins. Don't these look like little gold coins? <laughs> Period! look like beautiful gold coins and the taste the texture of it you know what I'm saying the flavor is just beautiful let me collect my coins because y'all already know all 2021 and beyond where we go be
Period. <laughs> On everything, I am not playing. No games. You feel me? Let's collect these coins. We're gonna go ahead and give them a dusting of cornstarch as well as uh, powder sugar, and that's so when we go ahead and store them that they don't stick together. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it's fresh candy. Period. This is candy that we made at home. This is the other flavor I was telling y'all about, y'all, and it tastes so good. So now what we're doing is is I made some tea, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is a beautiful lozenge to put inside of a good hot cup of tea, a beautiful hot cup of tea. Go ahead, I drop in, I normally drop in two lozenges that, you know, it sweetens my tea perfectly and I'm able to get that turmeric, that aloe, that lemon juice, all those good things that we put inside of these lozenges and they're going to dissolve and it's going to be delicious and it also has a, a lovely spicy little kick you feel me it's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and that's the tea period all right y'all thanks for coming through and vibing once again with your girl q i hope you guys enjoyed those recipes and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoyed this content go ahead and like this video hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to your girl also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other freshness coming from the fresh squad you hear what i hear do you hear what i From your girl Q Do you hear what I hear? The love, the love When you like, comment, and share It is beyond compare Stay super fresh Yes, yes, y'all, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, y'all, hey, to the beat, y'all, to the, to the beat, y'all, <laughs> another wonderful recipe, another amazing video, I hope you guys really can use these lozenges, they are amazing, I really enjoyed these, my kids really enjoyed these, and I just, really, I'm so grateful, you guys, and I'm so blessed, y'all, it's so much that's been going on, that has been so positive, we reached 300 subscribers, y'all, we are growing the Fresh Squad is growing globally, and I am appreciative. I'm manifesting that growth, that love, that peace, that harmony, that protection over all of us. Do you hear me? Period. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, the main ingredient is love. The mantra is love. The everyday lifestyle is love. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be kind, but we ain't going to take nobody shit. Period. I want y'all to watch the movie, uh, My Rainy's Black Bottom. Amazing Chadwick Boseman. I'm talking about Viola Davis, though. Oh, my God, you guys. Incredible, incredible movie. Amazing, absolutely, positively, period, amazing, dot, dot. Know your worth and add tax, period. Because they're going to take and take and take. The takers that take, going to keep taking. You hear me? The givers that give, we're going to always give. But see, the thing is, you got to be smart and you're giving. Know your worth and add tax, period. I am done, done, done allowing myself to not be compensated properly for what I do, period. And I wish the same thing for all of us. Like I said, peace, prosperity, you know what I'm saying? Positive vibes only. Shout out to the uh, Betty Twins, period. You know what I'm saying? PBO in this bitch. You feel me? <laughs> Flat out. You know what I'm saying? So we are coming for our coins 2021 and beyond. Where you gonna find us? Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Aight? Period. Aight? We gonna, I hope you guys stay super blessed. Y'all already know. We gonna stay super safe, super blessed, super fresh. You understand me? Period. We gonna keep those masks up. Hands out of our faces. We gonna keep those hands clean. Nails included. Aight, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Much love from your girl Q. Until next time, and I already told y'all, y'all already know, it's gonna be a next time. Period. Flat out. Come hell, high water, flood, whatever people talking about, it don't even matter. You feel me? Because there will be a next time. Much love from your girl Q. All right, y'all. Bye, 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 b
until next time, peace, love, bye bye. <laughs>